Once you've found the right projector for your golf sim, you have to figure out how to set it up so that it fills your impact screen. Since most people have never done this before, this video will guide you on the right way to figure out the right spot to mount your projector, as well as tips on how to set up your projector to provide full coverage on your hitting screen. The first place to start is to use BenQ's 3D Golf Simulator Planner, a tool specifically designed for DIY users to set up their projector and build their golf sim. The tool enables you to input your room dimensions, impact screen size and shape, and your projector model to automatically calculate the different measurements you'll need. For this video, we're using the BenQ LK936ST Laser 4K Golf Simulator Projector, which is designed for multi-role golf sim, home cinema, and gaming, with 200-inch impact screen, in a room with 118-inch height, 180-inch width, and 240-inch depth as an example. In this case, we'll set up the projector about 18 inches from ceiling to bottom of projector and start with a throw distance of about 141 inches. To make the projector placement easier, the LK936ST offers an optical zoom with a throw ratio of 0.81 to 0.89. This gives you the ability to mount the projector between 141.3 to 155.3 inches, which is helpful when trying to find a stud to mount the unit securely. Now, let's make sure the image is the right size. Put the projector on the floor below to where you'll be mounting it, 141.3 inches away from the screen. Use the zoom on the projector and adjust the setting to wide. Use Lens Shift to change the location of the projected image. The BenQ LK936ST offers excellent vertical and horizontal lens shift allowing you to shift the image up and down or left and right to fit your screen distortion-free. It greatly enhances installation flexibility. Then use the focus to make image sharper. Please remember there may be about a 5% difference between actual projection and calculator results due to impact screen surface smoothness or uneven flooring. So you want to make sure you have some flexibility. We suggest you make the projection size one inch larger than the screen allowing more room to adjust the image on the projector. It's easier to shrink the image to fit with a modern golf simulation projector without having to remount the unit. Place the laser rangefinder on the extension line from the center of the lens, perpendicular to the floor. The rangefinder will project a red dot on the ceiling, which is the right place for your ceiling mount. Because the projector lens may be to one side of the unit, you want to make sure you're using the lens, not any other part of the projector, as the key measuring point. Once the center of the ceiling mount is aligned with the red point, you can start drilling holes in your ceiling. When installing the projector, make sure the ceiling mount bracket aligns with the extension line from the center of the lens. When done, press Quick Install on the remote control. Go to Projector Installation and select Front Ceiling. Again, adjust the projected image to fit your screen with zoom and lens shift. Finally, press Menu on the remote control. Press Picture, Picture Mode, and select Golf Mode, which optimizes the greens of the grass and blues of skies and water, showing you realistic depictions as golf course designers intended you to experience them. A ceiling-mounted projector enables the projector to be mounted above and behind the hitting area so you don't notice it when you're playing. But ceiling mounts are harder to adjust, move, and maintain than a projector on the floor or on a table or cart. So by following the steps in this video, you can make sure that the projector's throw distance works with your setup before actually mounting it. BenQ is the industry leader in golf simulator projectors, which come in a variety of different options depending on your requirements. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on how you can make your golf sim projector even better.